Hi, it's KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guest today, first of a couple of shows, actually, that we're going to be doing surrounding uh, two upcoming Cedar Rapids Opera productions. Uh, first off, we've got the cast for an original production, which is back for its third go-around, called Charlie and the Wolf. Uh, and for those watching on the video, you can see we have a full house. Uh, we have, uh, I, I think, the entire cast, right? Isn't it a four-person? Yeah, yeah okay. Yes. So, uh, Lindsay Paradise... Evan Nelson, Renee Vasquez, and Brittany Graham, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> Glad to have you all here. Um, before we talk about Charlie and the Wolf, give me just the, Lindsay, I'm going to start with you. Just kind of give me the short little capsule of of uh, your your background, uh, you know, where you know where, where are you from, uh, a little bit about your singing, and uh, if this is, you know, what's your, is this your first time in Cedar Rapids, or if you've been with uh, Opera here before, or? Sure, yeah, this is my first time in Iowa. Um, I grew up in Connecticut, and uh, I did my training at the New England Conservatory of Music, and then my graduate studies at the University of Tennessee as an apprentice with Knoxville Opera. And uh, my home base is in Maryland, close to D.C., and I've just been doing um, a lot of regional opera around that area. And like I said, this is my first foray into the Midwest. All right. Well, <laughs> welcome, Evan. So I'm originally from Albany, Georgia, but I'm currently living in Kansas City, Missouri. I go to school at the University of Missouri, Kansas City. So um, this is my first time in Cedar Rapids, and I've been having a really good time so far. Renee? So I'm from Houston, Texas. Um, I got my undergrad degree in Texas at Lamar University, and I just finished my master's in May at the University of Alabama, Roll Tide. And uh, it's my first time in Cedar Rapids, and thankfully it's been a mild winter, as I've been told. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so, so far everybody is kind of uh, from warmer climes. Brittany, yeah. is that you too? Yes. Well, I'm originally from Cape Girardeau, Missouri. It's a small town in um, two hours south of St. Louis, but I currently live in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So it, <laughs> it is very cool for me right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I perform a lot um, in the Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Um, region and this is my first time at Cedar Rapids but I am a Midwestern originally. <laughs> okay all right well again glad to have you all here hope you're having a good experience you have many shows yes. yeah. <laughs> to perform a couple of which are our public performances but this is uh, past listeners to the show may remember we've done a couple of shows in, uh, with previous casts uh, because Charlie and the Wolf was an original commission for uh, Cedar Rapids Opera that has been performed a few times and uh, coming back around. But for those who may not be familiar with it, who wants to give me the capsule description of what it's about? Okay. Okay, it looks like Brittany's elected. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <You're the> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay, so um this is just a wonderful story. It has so many things in it that I think is good reminders for adults and children. Um but basically uh we have Logan who is played by Lindsay and it's Logan is a kid who's like I hate school. I don't want to be here. Um so many things, right? And so, and I'm the teacher, Miss Jones, and I'm just trying to get Logan to engage with another student who's different from her and also teach her about music. And some way, somehow, Mozart and Charlie Parker come along, and they're while I'm teaching, you know, I kind of Logan kind of dreams off, goes into dreamland, and then they come and they help her realize some things about music and friendships and how together we can look beyond the core and things like that so by the end of the story logan realizes that we may be different but we all have things in common and we should all treat each other well so i think there's a lot of themes that we can learn from and be reminded of as adults and the kids so it's a lot of good lessons uh the uh as our listeners know, and as uh, I mentioned to you, of course, KCCK is a jazz station. So <laughs> Charlie Parker, as one of the characters in this, that is right up our alley. But <laughs> yes. we uh, we also uh, collaborate a lot with, uh, with the Orchestra Iowa and the opera here. So the links between jazz and classical and Absolutely. all of that are mm -hmm. you know are something that we uh talk about and celebrate every day uh, but the the piece of this that i love the most is that friendship piece that you were talking about Brittany, where uh where your two characters evan and uh and renee uh talk about it you know even though you didn't know each other in life had you had mozart and charlie parker known each other mm -hmm. they would have been good friends so <laughs> tell me you know tell me a little bit about how that relationship 
plays out in the uh, uh, in the opera, Renee? Absolutely, yeah. So I think you know Mozart being from such a long time ago and Charlie Parker being from so long ago, there is that gap between you know the time periods. But in the story, I think because they both kind of had not the same upbringing, but different upbringings, but same experiences with music and just bridging that gap of classical to jazz. And, you know, it's not so different when you really break it down. And that within that theme, Charlie and Mozart realize within themselves, oh, we also have things in common, just like Logan has things in common with JJ, the student that she doesn't really want to get to know. Um, And so I think, you know, other than music, there's also so many themes of like friendship, diversity, inclusivity, and that are just really important in the story. Uh, Evan bringing, you know, bringing Charlie Parker to life, of course, who was not a singer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, you know, so uh, tell me about kind of trying to incorporate the idea of, you know, being a jazz musician, a sax player in your <laughs> performance as a singer. Yeah. So um, I actually played trumpet growing up before I sang and I was like in jazz band. So I kind of have that background. So um, it's been kind of cool kind of merging those two together just because like, you know, even though he wasn't a singer, he was still very musical. Of he course. He did like, yeah. so many like great musical things. And I think just like getting to share that with kids who might not know who he was, like that's been really great for me to like be able to embody that character and tell this story. Uh, Logan, tell me a little bit about the about uh, how you react and uh, what you think of the music in this uh, in this show. Oh, well, I think the music is really fun. And there are a lot of moments of just just silliness and and playfulness uh, that I think the audience would really enjoy. And Logan, as the character, reacting to all of this, I mean, there's a lot of confusion, but there's also, you can see as the show progresses, the connections being made, you know, of, oh, yeah. And at first there was this total resistance of, no, we're totally different, this this student, just JJ and I, we're totally different, we can't. And then seeing the relationship of Mozart and Charlie, and how they're friends, even though they have differences, um, you can see that progress in the show. And um, yeah, it's really lovely. The opera is entitled Charlie and the Wolf, Charlie for Charlie Parker and Wolf for Wolfgang <laughs> Mozart. And you've got one one real public performance and then a bunch of school shows, correct? Right. Yes. yes. And uh, the public performance will be at the Cedar Rapids Public Library, uh, January 13th, 9 a.m., 10 a.m. Okay, 10 a.m. Uh, I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at Lauren and Katie off in the corner, off camera for, uh, uh, for that. And then uh, and then you got a performance at the Arc, and then uh, nine elementary school shows. Yes. So picking this up, moving it around. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Chugging along. Yes. Uh, well, it's uh, it's a pleasure to meet you all. This is uh, this is such a this is such a fun show, and I'm so glad that it can you know we're bringing it back and uh, and uh, spreading this uh, good word around. Uh, about uh, about music and how you know music is doesn't matter what kind of music it is all music all music is good and all music can be loved so uh, thank you so much for being here the uh, website is cropera.org if you'd like any information about this uh, or any of the upcoming shows we are going to be talking some mem- uh, to some members of the cast of Tosca which is the main stage show that's uh, coming up but it's January's opera season yes <laughs> and uh, uh, glad to have you all here and glad to have uh, have our community lighten up the winter with music thank you all for being here thank you for having us again cropera.org if you'd like more information about this show or tickets for the uh, upcoming shows as well you can hear the culture crawl live on the radio many weekdays at 10 30 or download the podcast watch or listen on your own schedule at kcck.org slash culture or using your favorite podcast app our video producer is liddy kilgore i'm dennis green i'll talk to you later